unbelievable. Tonight, shocking new developments in the case of that pregnant mom accused of trying to murder her own three children by driving them into the ocean. This unforgettable, gut-wrenching video of the alleged murder-suicide attempt captivated the nation. Well, now the story's getting even worse. Her own attorney revealed at a hearing today that Ebony Wilkerson, you're looking at her here, who was seven months pregnant, was discovered in jail punching herself in the stomach. Okay, again, she's seven months pregnant. She was moved to a mental hospital. Shouldn't this woman be on 24-hour watch? Was she trying to kill her unborn child? Her three kids, ages three, nine, and 10, told police that as mommy drove toward the waves, she locked the car doors and put the windows up. She told them to close their eyes and go to sleep. Rescuers say Wilkerson tried to fight them off as they struggled to save her children from drowning. She tried to stop them. A kid on her lap fighting her for the steering wheel, and the two in the back seat was crying with their arms out saying, our mommy's trying to kill us, please help. Ironically, Wilkerson may try to use this punching of the unborn child incident to plead insanity. Is this the latest disturbing episode? Yes, it is. Is it another sign that she's mentally ill? I don't know. Or is she just an evil mom hell-bent on killing her own kids? Call me, 1-877-JVM-SAYS. Straight out to Mark Starling, reporter, anchor for News 96.5. Mark, what happened in court today? Well, Jamie, originally today's court date was supposedly to get a lower bond amount set uh, for Ebony Wilkerson. Right now, her bond is set at $1.2 million. And there seemed to be a lot of uh, just kind of a lot of things that were not clear to both the defense and the prosecution. You know, again, that the surfacing today about her punching herself in the stomach, uh, that just kind of surfaced up today. So that's kind of been a new angle for us. Well, you know, what did they the say about that, is, Mark, Mark, Mark? What did they say about that? That's what we want to talk about. That's the big, the big news. The big news is you know, that this woman who tried to kill her three kids by driving into the ocean, allegedly purportedly, we know she drove into the ocean, she's accused of attempted murder, three counts on her kids, is punching herself in the stomach when she's seven months pregnant. That's huge. What did anybody, the defense or the prosecution, say about that before she was whisked off to a mental hospital? Well, the prosecution's big thing was, you know, this is obviously, the prosecution was looking at it like it's a tactic. And, you know, there, there are certain ramifications mm. And and that they that Wilkerson must be in visual eyesight of her of, of the corrections officers at all times. Uh, the big question was that if they sent her to Halifax Medical Center to the psychiatric ward, would they be able to keep line of sight on her at all times? Would she be able to participate in the groupings? Because as you know, uh, those groupings sometimes in, in uh, psychiatric units those uh, are private. Uh, hold on, um, Mark, 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 Mark. When she was in jail, was she on 24-hour watch? When she did this, was she supposed to be watched 24 hours? In other words, did, did somebody look away for a second and she starts punching herself? Because I understood she was also naked when this happened, when they discovered her? As th that's the details that, that I heard this afternoon. Um, you know, I was kind of scanning back through the hearing audio, and it was kind of unclear whether or not she was being watched she was supposed to be watched. There's no question about that. Uh, you know, and I don't think that's ever been a question since the start of this thing. That, you know, this woman is obviously mental. Um, yeah, well, and, well, wait you know, a second. Hold on one there. Hold on one second, because we want to get to that. Is she mental or not? She's charged with uh, three counts of attempted murder of her own children. And um, it seemed to me when the cops were announcing that, that they didn't think that she was insane. Hours before, yeah, Ebony you know, Wilkerson goes... drove her van into the surf. Her own sister called 911, saying the pregnant mother was hearing demons and talking to Jesus. Listen to the 911 call. Her husband beat on her. She came down from South Carolina to my house. And okay, I took I her to the hospital yesterday. I don't understand why you need a well-being check. Because she's, like, having psychosis or something. Or postpartum. All right. After that 911 call, police actually pulled Ebony over and questioned her. And she told them she was headed to a domestic violence shelter, fearful of her allegedly abusive husband. By the way, the husband says, it's all a lie. I didn't abuse her at all. She's mental. Okay. 
So, but she, she wasn't crazy enough when they pulled her over before she drove her kids into the ocean to be held on a, uh, what they call Baker Act, you know, when you're, you're able to be held on an involuntary hold. So I want to go to a Reva Martin attorney. Um, you just heard that there was a reference in court today that maybe she's going to use this horrific hitting her own womb uh, incident as a ploy, as a strategy, perhaps to convince the jury or the courts that she's insane and she shouldn't have to go to jail for attempted murder. Jane, she doesn't have to use the hitting of her stomach. Obviously, we're watching this woman's life play out in this video. Something is terribly wrong with this woman. Either it's domestic violence, it's postpartum depression, which her sister alluded to. But no mother of three drives their children into an ocean unless there's something really going on with them mentally. This no indication that this woman didn't love her kids, that she otherwise didn't try to provide for them. She was trying to escape a very violent situation. I'm really well, well, annoyed okay, but, by the but, story I, because it's framed as if somehow she's a criminal. She's a well, wait, victim hold, herself. Hold on a the second. kids let, are victims, but she's also a victim. Let me bring this factor in. I mean, if this was the only thing in her life, but Ebony Wilkerson caused a deadly car wreck back in 2007 that left a young mother dead. She clipped the back of a van, sending it flying into a concrete wall. Wilkerson lost her license for a year and had to do 132 hours of community service. This is the woman who was killed.